Hey guys, this is Wade from Wade's RC Hangar. What we're going to be doing today is going through my new purchase. Uh, what we did was we picked up an FPV setup. All right, the FPV setup, I've always wanted to get into it. I was always looking for basically every single piece. I didn't want to do a lot of researching and hunting, and I just wanted to buy something that was basically plug and play, and this is what I found. What we got sitting in front of us is our plug and play FPV from FPV RC. You can get this on the website at fpvwing.com. All right, along with this kit, you have several different options. Uh, you can opt up to upgrade to a little bit bigger screen. You could also opt for your different bandwidths or different frequencies that you would like to, to operate on. What I did was I decided to operate on the 1.3 instead of the 5.8 or the 900 or 2.4. I just wanted to go a little bit different route. Um, I don't have any real reason as to why I wanted to do the 1.3. I just see that everybody's going 5.8 and I figured I'd stick with something a little bit different. Price as completed is going to put you somewhere right around 300 bucks, but it all depends on anything you add, subtract, things like that. As far as shipping, shipping was fast. No issues really with shipping. As you can see, everything arrived pretty much in order, ready to go. Now when we talk about this setup here. We've got a couple different specs that you need to know about <clears throat> as far as your transmitter specs. You've got 800 milliwatt power operation. Uh, the operation of voltage is going to be anywhere from 9 to 13.5 volts. Typically on the instructions it says to stick with 12 volts. Uh, that's going to be your safe bet. I'm using the 2200 milliamp for most of it. The 3S battery which puts me at 11.1 .1 volts so I think we're safe. Power consumption is 8 watts. Video frequency like I said, we're running the 1.3 gigahertz antenna that's included, IB Crazy Clover Leaf Whip. All right, as far as your receiver is concerned, you're operating around the same voltage, 9 to 13.5 volts. Power consumption is 6 watts. Uh, again, your video frequency, just match up with whatever you buy for your transmitter. It should all be included. Now, I have gone through the parts and pieces of this thing, and it is amazing. Uh, the quality is there. Its simplicity is there. Everything that you want, basically, in an FPV setup, especially if you're new, like me, is there. So some of the parts that we've got in here, and I'll go ahead and explain basically how I did my setup. <clears throat> we'll start off with what's up front. Now you can see we've got our screen. The screen comes with kind of a flush mounting plate, which I decided to take off. And the reason being is because on the bottom side right here, there's a metal bracket that enables you to mount this directly to a tripod. That's what I'm going to be using as my ground station. Now, I'm not going to do goggles as of yet because I wear glasses. I'm very blind. So along with that, inside your cables that come uh, with the screen, which is already hooked up, you don't have to do anything. You've got your EC3 connector. You've got your video 1, video 2 cables. And you've got enough cable length to actually give you some operational room, some flexibility as to where you want to mount it. So that's really good. This screen is a very nice screen. It's got a lot of options. Under the menu, you can obviously adjust all your things like your color, your contrast, your brightness. Um, you can also hit one of the buttons down here, which is this one, and you can just click it to rotate it. So no matter how you mount the screen, it, it'll just rotate to your liking and it'll even do your mirroring. All right, so that's a little bit about your color monitor. This thing is absolutely amazing, ready to go. <clears throat> All right, next, what we have here is our camera. Little camera is included, everything is already wired. Got your standard kind of servo plugs ready to go, so not much to the camera. Now, as far as your camera is concerned, uh, you're running basically 600 TDL. Your lens is a four millimeter uh, with a 90 degree field of view, so it's a pretty good camera. Uh, before, I got the video started, I actually hooked it all up and made sure everything worked obviously. Went through the parts and pieces, made sure I had all the parts, and the camera looks great. Let me get the camera out of the way and we'll move on. Next, you obviously see we've got our 12 channel receiver. Now the 12 channel receiver with the actual antenna on it, all right, pretty easy to hook up. It just plugs in like any other antenna, you just literally screw it right on, 
and it's adjustable. All right, you can see we've got different control buttons. You got video and audio in and out, 12 volt DC, and then it's flat back, so it's nice and easy to mount. You've got screw holes wherever you want to mount it. <clears throat> All right, one thing that I will mention about this, uh, I know that it does say plug and play. In my eyes, true plug and play is literally I pull it out of the box. If there's batteries, I charge it and I go. Um, because of the nature of this business when it comes to FPV, there's going to be so many hundreds of different setups. There's infinite amount of setups. So what they've done for you, for your ground station or for your receiver itself, is they actually put this little 12 volt uh, power supply in here, which is stripped and ready to basically be soldered. All right, and that's how you're gonna power your ground station. You simply just plug it in to whatever your power source is gonna be, and that's basically it. So I opted to get rid of this piece, and instead what I did was I happened to find this piece right down here, <clears throat> and this is gonna be obviously temporary. But what I found was an exact match on my 12 volt power supply with my alligator clips, okay? Took my alligator clips, I simply found whatever battery charge lead I was actually going to use as far as my battery is concerned. I have a Deans, so it made it nice and easy. And the reason I like this is you don't have to use just one battery. You can basically find any charge lead and hook it right up to the battery. All I did was simply hook these up right into there. All right, push the covers over. Did the same for the negative. Obviously, you want to do this before you connect the battery. That way we don't got any shorts or anything going on. I plug it in like so, and we've got our power ready to go. All right, <clears throat> this kit does not come with batteries, but anybody who's been in RC for longer than about 20 minutes should have the appropriate batteries to run this setup. All right, I'm running the monitor and the ground station, or the, the receiver, I'm sorry, I'm running the monitor and the receiver on 2200 3S packs, like I said, simple as that. All right, I just had some cheapo ones laying around and they work fine. I had the thing on for about an hour and a half, two hours. I haven't even checked the battery voltage. I didn't even know if they were charged and never had an issue. So that's how I'm powering the screen and the receiver. All right, as far as your audio cables and video cables, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have these two cables right here. You simply plug in. Obviously video is gonna be your yellow, audio is gonna be your white. Then on your monitor over here, you're going to have the exact matching cables that you plug it right into and you're powered on and you're ready to go. All right. Very, very, very simple. So let me go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Press on. Next, what we have is our power distribution board. Now, I like this because it's all in one. There's not a lot of wires that you got to deal with. I mean, there's not really much that has to be done. All right, you've got your jumper here. I just don't even mess with this yet because I don't have OSD or anything like that. All right, you've got camera hookups, uh, receiver hookups, or uh, th this regard, you got your transmitter hookups and camera hookups. You've got to power out to your OSD so you can power your OSD. And then you've got your power in. Now, I know the voltage range said to run anywhere from nine to 13.5 volts. I didn't have a 9 to 13.5 volt battery laying around. I simply had this 7.4 volt Scott Lipo 800 milliamp and it plugged right in and powered everything up nice and fine. I did notice a little bit of uh, lacking in the you know, line of sight issues. If I got behind something then my line of, you know, obviously line of sight was canceled and it caused the screen and the, the video to go out. But I do think that that's just because I'm not running a powerful enough battery to actually go through the power distribution board, the transmitter that will go on the actual aircraft. It's got a big uh, clover leaf antenna as well. All right, so that is the setup, the main setup of what you get through FPV RC, all right, for all of your FPV equipment. <clears throat> Some of the other stuff that comes with it, you're gonna have a mount, all right, so you can mount your screen double-sided sticky tape so you can put your mount anywhere you want. You're also gonna have a remote for your LCD screen. Everything works out just fine. So I've already hooked it up literally to get everything up and running. It took me under an hour to go through and kind of learn the ins and outs of this system, which is super easy. Flip the camera around so I can mount it under my quad. I mean, it doesn't take very long to get it plug and play, you know, at all. So the only thing I would recommend Buy yourself some 3S batteries, 
2200 to run your monitor, 2200 to run your 12 channel receiver, and then you also probably want to get, if you don't want to wire it into your flight battery, then just get a separate little 1000 milliamp or something, uh, three cell battery, and you should be good to go. All right, you're gonna want the little mini JST connectors on there, otherwise you're gonna have to do cutting and soldering, but anybody in this business knows that cutting and soldering is just part of the deal. All right, so this is it. This is my kind of unboxing, going through what we got in the package, FPV RC. All right, really good setup so far. I'm liking what I see, quality parts, everything is new, ready to go. All right, so, what I want to do next is I'm actually going to go through, put this on my quad, and then we're going to get you some video. Uh, like I said, I'm not really going to spend too much time on how to install this stuff. Uh, there's good directions and good kind of annotations on the fpvwing.com to show you how to go about installing it, what cable goes to what. So I'll put the link down at the bottom of the, the page so you guys can get there and figure out what's going on. It's really easy. Like I said, I've never dealt with FPV before and I got this up and running in under an hour and I feel fairly confident that uh, everything is going to be fine. So if you guys have any questions, please comment down uh, below or wherever YouTube lets you comment now because it seems like every week YouTube is kind of changing up their system. Shoot me a comment. Check out Wade's RC Hanger on Facebook. If you can't figure out the comment system on YouTube, you can go there and ask me a question. Everything's linked right up to my mobile phone, so I'll be able to get with you and answer questions right away. Also, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and I look forward to getting this stuff in the air and getting some really good FPV video.